Hello students, this is Mr. Talmadge. I want to show you how to uh, do something on your Excel map. I want to show you how to insert a picture by formatting a comment box. It's not that difficult, but it's also not the most intuitive thing to figure out. So here are the basic steps. There are quite a few. First you're going to search for a picture and you're going to do that using Google Image Search or something like uh, wikimedia.org. Then you're going to save the picture to your student account. Then from your Excel map you're going to click Show All Comments. Then you're going to click on the comment you want to format. Once that comment box is showing you can hover over the border and then you're going to right click on that border. You'll notice when you hover over it that the cursor turns to a um, kind of a compass rose, arrows pointing in all four directions. Then you're going to right click on that border. That's going to pull up a, a menu of options for you, a dialog box. And you're going to click on the format comment option. Then that's going to pull up a uh, sort of a larger dialog box with a bunch of tabs. And you're going to click on the colors and lines tab. It might already be selected. Then you're going to click the fill color box. Then you're going to select picture by clicking on that words on those words select picture then from there you need to browse or locate where you saved your picture and double click it and then finally alter the transparency level by moving the slider bar the transparency level will make the picture become more dark or more light so that the text that you have written in your comment box shows up more clearly okay so the first step is this we're going to search for a picture that is appropriately copyrighted for us to use Okay, so once again, that first step we're going to do is search for an image. So let's say that I have decided to um, search for an image related to my comment that is W is for whales or whale hunting. I'm going to go ahead and just do whales. So I'm going to type in whales of Washington State. Washington State. Oh, spell it right. Washington State. Okay, there, got it. And I could click search. And I could select images. But from here, I'm probably going to want to select strict safe search. Not probably, definitely select the strict safe search. And let's see what pulls up. Get some things for whaling. There's a nice whale there, the orca whale. I'm going to click on that image and I'm going to see full size image. However, I notice that this image may be subject to copyright, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do a different uh, image search. I'm going to filter, I'm going to do an advanced search, and I'm going to filter for labeled for reuse and use the strict filter. Now I can have whales of Washington State in the search box, hit Google search, and let's see what it pulls up. There we go. So these images sh should be um, ones that I am allowed to use. I kind of like this one. And I like to go to see full size image. That's going to give me a, a picture. From here, I'm going to right click on the picture and I'm going to save picture as. That's going to allow me to save it to my individual account. I'll go ahead and call it uh, Orca Whale. Okay. And now it's saved. Okay, so what, what's the next step here? So we searched for a picture and we filtered it using a Google image search. Next step is to save the picture to my account. I did that. Now we're going to go to our Excel map and click Show All Comments. So here's my Excel map. First of all, I have to have some comments, so I need to make one. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the San Juans, right about there. I'm going to click, I'm going to click uh, Insert Comment, and I'm going to do a W is for whales, whales, and I'm going to go Orca whales are found in the San Juan Islands of 
Washington. Okay. I'll make this a little bigger so you can see it. I would add, of course, need to add a third sentence to talk about the importance of orca whales, and perhaps to the ecosystem of our state. Let's go ahead and see what the next step is. <clears throat> so we need to click on the comment that we want to format. So it's already selected. Now I can write, if I hover over the border, it turns to those four arrows. Now I can right click on the border. That's gonna turn it into a kind of a grid pattern. I'm gonna pull up a dialog box. I'm gonna to wanna to select format comment. That's gonna pull up this format comment menu. Let's see where we wanna go next. Click on the comment you want to format. Hover over the border of the comment box. We did that. Right click on the border. We just did that as well. And now we clicked format comment. Next step is to click colors and lines. Let's do that now. There's the colors and lines tab. From here we're going to click on the fill color box. That's this one right here. Now we're going to select fill effects. Once we select fill effects, there's going to be a tab up here for the picture. We're going to select picture. And then finally we can actually click on the tab that says select picture. Now I can locate where I saved that picture on my student account. It's right up here, Orca Whale. I'm going to double click on that. That's going to pull it up right there. I can hit OK. The last step is to alter the transparency level just a little bit so that my text shows up more boldly in my comment box. Now I can hit OK. And we can see that the picture's in the background and the text is in the foreground. If I wanted, I could select text and I could change the color of that text as well. And if you hover over it, you now have a picture with uh, words over the top. So we clicked the fill color box, we clicked select picture, and we located where it was saved, we altered the transparency level, and then finally here are all the steps that we did in case you need to look at that to help you. Okay.